stampers, Jackie Ball Heist and Clappin' Stampers. Are you ready for a quick and easy fun fold? It's been a while since I've done a fun fold and I know you guys love them, especially when they're easy. You know, so often we just take a piece of cardstock, half sheet, cut it in half, fold it, and that's our card front. But when we can do a simple fun fold, it adds so much character to it. And I love that this one really doesn't take any extra cardstock to do it. So fun fold, fun, easy, fun fold, we'll call it, as well as we're using the back-to-back -back basic or back-to-back -back bloom stamp set. It's a new stamp set in the new January to June mini catalog that you can order from now. And yeah, I got quite a few other samples. I'm going to make one card, but then I'm going to share, or I guess I got at least four, eight or so more using the stamp set and this fun fold to give you a lot more ideas. So make sure you watch all the way to the end so you don't miss anything. So real quick, before I flip this camera down, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator that you work with and you'd like to order any of the fun products I share with you today, I would love to be your demonstrator and have you order through me. It's my customers that order through me that that really allow me to bring you so many fun, quick and easy stamping videos. So I so appreciate those of you that have selected me to be your demonstrator. If you need a catalog, if you don't have one because you don't have a demonstrator, hop over to my website. The link is right down there in the video description. Click on catalogs up at the top of the website and you'll be able to request a catalog and I'd love to send you one. Okay, enough chit chat. It's time for stamping. Let's flip the camera down and get to work here. Hold on one minute. Let's dive right into today's fun fold. So the stamp set I'm using is called Back to Back Blooms. Now this is a reversible stamp set. We've seen a couple of these recently from Stampin' Up! And they're kind of fun because you actually can take a stamp and you can put it on your block this way and get the solid image or flip it over and get the detailed image. Now the card I'm sharing today, I'm not using the back side of it. I'm only using the front side of it, but I'll be back sometime in the next couple of months because I have a whole stack of cards I've made where I've done the reversible part of it. So, but today I wanted to keep the stamping pretty simple because it's really focusing on our fun fold. So, we're going to start out with a half sheet of cardstock. Now, this is cut at four and a quarter by 11. Um, remember, with your cardstock, you can cut it the long way or the short way. As long as you're cutting it in half and folding it, it becomes a normal size card. Oh, we're going to do a little bit of scoring here. So, when to fold it in half when it's 11, we're going to go ahead and score at five and a half. Now, make sure you use your scoring blade if you keep both of them on here. And so our card will go ahead and fold in half like that. But then on our front piece here, we are going to cut off a three inch piece. So there's our cutter there. So we're gonna set this piece aside. So now you can see that our card is just shorter on the front. Now I do like to use my bone folder to get a nice crisp uh, um, crease and fold in there. So let's set that aside for a second and we're going to go ahead and do our stamping next and then I'll show you how the card goes together. So we have a piece of Whisper White here that is four by two and three quarters. Now don't worry if you don't remember these measurements and honestly I don't know if I'll remember to give you all of them for the whole card because over on my website I will have a blog post that will have pictures of the fun fold along with all your cutting and scoring diagrams as well as a list of all the supplies I use. So if you'd like to make this card, it'll be real simple to get all of that information over there. So what I did is I just stamped three. All I'm trying to do is essentially just fill up the whole front of this piece here. This is gonna be a layer on our card. Now notice as I stamp the green, I like to stamp one, and then two. We've got Granny Apple Green, I use Melon Mambo, but when you stamp it twice like that, you just get a few more shades in there. So just adds a little more dimension to it. Now, the next part is kind of a fun little background trick I'm gonna share with you. I've got the dotted stamp. It's this one right here. It's really intended to make a flower, you know, with the backside and so forth but we are going to use it to just add kind of a border on here. Now you could sponge it or use blending brushes, but I kind of like the texture that this is gonna leave me. So I'm gonna ink it up and then I'm gonna stamp it a whole bunch of times. Notice ink, stamp, 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 you know, without re-inking it. And I'm gonna just go around and I'm just kind of trying to hit the edge and we'll just keep working our way around. Now, when I have those flowers coming off the edge, I'm gonna kind of skip that spot and we'll come in 
right there. You know, there's, there's no magic here. We'll get that corner because there's a little bit there. Um, we'll come around, get this corner. And you can just keep going and going and going. The more you go, the darker it gets. But notice each time we're stamping, eh, probably five, six times. And see how it just kind of added that nice little border around there? So then, remember this piece we cut off. Okay, this was our card front. This is actually going to become the layer for the stamped, for the stamped layer. So what we will do is go ahead and use our liquid adhesive on the back side of that. And we're gonna layer it right over there, like so. Now, for our card, I also have a piece of Granny Apple Green here. I think this is probably two and a quarter by four, if I remember right. Now I'm gonna go ahead, oh, I don't have my cleaning chamois here. We're just gonna kinda get the yellow off that. <laughs> Should clean it for real, but we wanna keep stamping here. And what I'm gonna do is use that same dot again, and we're gonna do the same concept here on this background piece. And each time we're stamping it a whole bunch of times. So I just wanna show you the difference. If I just ink and stamped and ink and stamped, you don't get the dimensions. So we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna just kinda of speed up the video here until I'm done with all of this. There we go. Look at the nice background that that made. So we're gonna go ahead and use some adhesive and we'll stick that here. Now this fun fold, remember, we could do with all different stamps and colors and inks. Um, I'm just kind of showing you one stamp set that works really good with it, but certainly I'm sure you have other stamps you could do this fold with. Let's take some linen thread here. You guys have probably seen me do this a million times by now, because um, I like to put this on almost all my cards. So we'll go ahead and I doubled it and then we're gonna wrap it around and I like to tie my bows upside down. I feel like I can tie a better bow um, with the, those tails tend to go down. Oh, I hope I didn't cut this one too short. I like to always make sure it's plenty long to give myself room. Let's see, who did we make it? I think we did, oh good. Okay, so we'll just kind of adjust that. With my bows too, I like to kind of make one a little bit shorter than the other. Boy, I barely made it there, didn't I? We'll trim those, trim that. So there is our bow. We just kind of slide that down, slide it over to the edge a little bit. Okay, let's set these pieces aside and we're gonna go ahead and stamp our inside. I'm just basically putting all of our pieces together and then we can, or stamp all our pieces, then we'll be able to put the whole card together. Okay, so there is our inside piece. Now, one final thing here is we need our greeting. Now, I'm gonna use the Happy Thoughts stamp set, and I have already stamped and embossed with white the thinking of you. Now, remember, with this stamp set, this card could very easily be, congratulations, thank you, thinking of you, happy birthday. I got thinking of you ready to go. And then what I love about the stamp set is we have the nice inside words as well. So we're gonna go ahead and use, just wanted to send some happy thoughts. So we'll go back, gosh, my table is wobbly today. Sorry about that. And let's stamp this here. Oh, you know what? One other thing I wanted to share with you today. Let's backtrack a little bit to our stamp set. I don't always show this on my um, my videos, but the partly because I don't always put the labels on myself. I'm trying to get better. Um, with these cling labels, they really do stick to your blocks really nice. You know, the old clear labels we had didn't stick, so I never put them on. Well, now, you know, I'm in such a habit of not. But here's a tip for putting them on. When you go to do it, peel the backing pieces off first. These are super sticky, so you don't get any grace. You can't put it part way down and pick it up and readjust it. Once it's there, it's there. So what I found, look for the side that has the most distinct kind of line. So here how this kind of dips down. And then if I hold my stamp, I'm gonna place it right over there, make sure it's lined up as I gently lay it down and fit it right in that spot. And then when I peel it up, it should be right where it needs to be. So that's a, a tip for putting your label on. Okay, I think we are ready to put our card together here. So let's go ahead and use dimensionals. 
Now, this is going to go right on here like so. So I am going to keep all of my dimensionals over on this left-hand side. So we don't want to kind of dimensional close our, our card. So let's peel these off. They're not coming off so good. Remember our little trick to get these off. If you have a hard time, just use the pokey end. Oh, that one's off. Of your, um, take your pick tool and you can just pick them up real easy that way. So we'll go ahead and kind of center that like so. And then our inside piece, we'll put some adhesive on. And that's going to go right there. This piece is five and a quarter by four. And again, the measurements will be on the website. Dimensional backings everywhere. And then let's take our thinking of you and we will put a couple more dimensionals on that one. And we can just stick it right there like so. And there is our fun fold card that really didn't use any cardstock because that piece was just flipped. And if you want to add a little bling, I like to add a couple rhinestones. You know, we got all different kinds of embellishments and blingy things. Oop, I got stuff on there. Um, come on, they're not picking up for me. There we go. And I like to add, these just are my favorite. And I I always put three on. Um, somebody asked me once in a comment why I put three on. And to be honest, I don't know. I know odd numbers of things look better. I think five gets too crowded. I just kind of like that look of three. And then I already stamped the envelope. Remember, we don't want any naked envelopes. So that is ready to send out. Now let me share some other card ideas with you. Now, one of the fun things about that Happy Thought stamp set is that the, the greetings, a happy birthday and thinking of you, um, congratulations, thank you. They were all designed to specifically fit into our four basic punches. Now, this Taylor Tag is my favorite. It's the one I tend to grab all the time. But as you can see, if you like one of these other ones better, or maybe you have one of these other ones, the words fit perfectly in that as well. So this could be any of those punches. Now, I took the same idea and I used several different stamp sets because again, this Happy Thought stamp set, both the outside and the inside are really designed to go with any stamps. So whether you like flowers or trees or lighthouses, okay, here we just turned our fun fold that way, or ferns, you could go ahead and you could do this idea add any of the greetings. All of these could be mix and match and the insides could be mix and match, but it's a great stamp set to pair with any other stamp set. So that is the fun fold. Now, before I let you go, I just want to share with you four other cards I made because I probably won't come back and do a video on these, but these you can see where I use the reversible. So for both the flowers and these leaves back there, I did stamp the outline in black and then I cleaned the stamp and I flipped it over on the other side of my block and used the back side of the stamp to go ahead and color in. Now it doesn't match exactly perfectly, but that's kind of the look you're going for. So I did do four of these, um, just kind of played around with a few different colors. And then I did use the four different greetings there. And you can see how they're all carried to the inside as well. So kind of two things I want you to take away today. Number one is the fun fold because you can do this with any stamps. But the other is how versatile this Happy Thought stamp set is because you can pair it with any other stamp set to make a card for any occasion and you get those inside words and your outside words. So I hope you like the video today and all of the tips and ideas I shared. Again, hop over to the website. I will have a picture um, of this card. I'll put pictures of the others, but I probably won't put all the details of all the other ones. But this one for sure, I will give you all the measurements and supplies that I use. So if you'd like to make this or order any of the products I use today, I'll make it real easy for you to order right over there on the website. And thank you in advance for picking me to be your Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So I'll be back stamping with you again real soon. Have a stamp happy day.